Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. When you're talking about headphones, a question that often comes up is, what is the impedance of the headphones effect? After all, you can get headphones with 8 ohm impedance, 25 ohm, 48 ohm, 80 ohm, 250 ohm, even 600 ohm impedance, and even more. Which is best, and what should you look for? Impedance is a technical term that describes the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. In headphones, the impedance is determined by the voice coil design, basically the amount of wire in the voice coils, the length, the thickness, the number of turns, and so on. A voice coil with fewer windings will have lower impedance than a voice coil with more windings, for example, if all other things are equal. But what does that mean for us when we put on a set of headphones for a session or for casual listening? The general rule of thumb is, and we always have to add a qualifier to these general rules of thumb, is that if all other things are equal, then higher impedance phones create a better motor system, which results in better bass reproduction. But there are a lot of factors that can influence this, and impedance is just one of them. Where impedance really shows up as an issue, or as a consideration, I guess, is in output volume. If we think of this in terms of, say, a guitar, bass, or PA system speaker, if you connect a 4-ohm speaker to a 100-watt amp, you might get the full 100-watt output from that amplifier. But connect a higher impedance speaker, say, a 8-ohm or a 16-ohm speaker, to that same amp, and you'll get less power out of it and less volume because that higher impedance is harder to drive. The same thing happens with headphones, particularly with lower quality headphone amplifiers or outputs. For example, your smartphone or MP3 player might be fine with a lower impedance headphone, but it might not work so well with a higher impedance headphone. You'll get lower output volume and the battery will drain faster. The same thing can happen with the headphone output on a audio interface or a mixer or a guitar processor or any other type of gear it'll just have more difficulty driving a higher impedance headphone. For this reason, for a pro quality headphone with a higher impedance, you'll want to use a headphone amp or output that's designed to handle that higher impedance. For example, I've got a Rupert Neve Designs RNHP Precision Headphone Amplifier here. Works great with any impedance headphones. So with headphones, less than 25 ohms is generally considered low impedance, and it'll give you more power and battery life with smartphones, MP3 players, consumer devices, and so on. For higher impedance phones, you want to ensure that your headphone amp or device can handle the load with sufficient volume and battery life. And if you're a DJ, 25 to 70 ohms is where most DJ headphones fall. Be careful if you're cranking the volume on a DJ mixer with a lower impedance headphone because the headphone outs on DJ mixers can be really powerful and they might damage the phones. I generally think of that 25 to 80 ohm range as being mid-level impedance and it tends to work pretty well with most pro gear. For higher impedance phones like these excellent Biodynamic DT770 Pro phones, which come in at 250 ohms, you want to ensure that your headphone app can manage that higher impedance. And Biodynamic, by the way, is actually one of the only companies I know of that offers their headphone models in different impedances. For example, the DT770 Pro is available at 250 ohms like this set, but you can also get it at 80 ohms and at 32 ohms so you can match your headphones to the particular situation you're working in. Now there's one other consideration with headphone impedance and that's if you're daisy chaining multiple sets of headphones off of a single output. In that case, the impedance drops every time you add a set of headphones. So you want to start with high enough impedance headphones so that when you add multiple sets, you stay in the safe range for the amplifier. So for example, if you chain two sets of headphones to an amplifier in parallel and you're using two 600 ohm headphones, the overall impedance will be 300 ohms, which again, still fairly high impedance. But if you use two 8 ohm headphones connected in parallel, you'd have just four ohms overall impedance, which might be too low for many headphone amps to handle. Be sure you check this out if you're connecting multiple sets of phones to one headphone output. So there you have it, a quick look at headphone impedance. Just be sure that the impedance of your headphones is compatible with the headphone output on whatever devices you'll be using them with, whether it's a headphone amplifier, an audio interface, a guitar processor, a mixer, your smartphone, an mp3 player, whatever it might be. Just match up that impedance and everything will work just fine. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this or start at Sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.